All right, so it's a little bit cold. So I'm in Spanish Fort, Alabama, and we're gonna pop inside the Five Rivers Delta Center, and we're gonna take a look at some juvenile Alabama red bellies. I'm really excited. Haven't gotten to see these turtles before really in my life. So let's go inside, check them out. All right, so right here, this is the habitat for the Alabama red belly turtle. And what's really neat is this is kind of the confluence of about five rivers in the Mobile, Mobile, Mobile? <laughs> in the Mobile Tensaw River Delta. And it's just, the, there's so many of these rivers all kind of colliding and mixing together in this area. And these, uh, Alabama red bellies have just kind of taken off in this environment and been able to kind of speciate and create their own red belly species that only lives in this area and it's really really neat. So in this vast expansive area these red bellies have been able to uh, really kind of colonize all of these little nooks and crannies in these larger deltas and they'll come up and lay their eggs on these steep sandy banks. You can see here this is an old nest and uh, it's really cool. And then another turtle species that'll share this environment with them is the diamondback terrapins, which is also very cool. So you've got some really awesome turtles kind of inhabiting you know, this area, and it's really such a special habitat. And that's why they're endangered is because they're limited to such a small area and anybody eating them or commercial take would just decimate the population. So uh, they are state endangered and a protected turtle and might even be federally endangered. I'd actually have to look that up, but really awesome. Uh, unfortunately, it was so cold that I'm not able to see any today actually out basking. It's about 45 degrees and windy, so not very likely to see any today. So we stopped inside the Five Rivers Delta Center here in Spanish Fort, Alabama, and we did get to see some captive reared youngsters. Uh, my guess is they're gonna raise those up and release them. Pretty cool, give them a nice little head start and do their, their part to kind of keep the species going. So we're gonna hit the road, see what else we can find.